Hello everyone, I am Shikha Verma, Assistant Professor in CS branch in Access Institute of Technology and Management. I am taking the subject Python programming. Uh, so here I will explain you the introduction, the topics which will be covered in, this, in the syllabus of Python programming and uh, uh, what will be the outcomes, what will you learn through this subject that I will tell you here. So here, first I will tell you about the subject that is Python, what is Python, why it is used, syllabus that has been covered, introduction, features, Python's ke features kya hai, wo hum batayenge, discuss karenge, then object oriented, what is object oriented, what is the meaning of object oriented and how it is related with the Python, relevance of the subject means what the student will learn after uh, after covering the syllabus of python programming what will be the outcome that will be covered in last topic here in this python programming subject is being taught in second year all the branches have to study the subject it is compulsory it is mandatory and you can see if it is mandatory so it is important as per the technical uh, session uh, if any student is giving technical round if uh, he belongs to cs branch or any other branch like mechanical electrical everywhere there is a use of python language in mechanical branch also uh, in third semi in third year the fifth semester they have a python lab and there they have to uh, will write down some programs related with the related with the uh, their mechani uh, mechanical mechanism so they uh, they just know what uh, what is why python and how to write the program what is the flow diagram all these things so that's why the subject is compulsory for each and every student who is in second year now here in unit 1 we will cover the introduction part of the python that is programming cycle of python how the program is being developed how it will be debugged if any problem occurs so uh, how we will uh, rec uh, how we will edit the program and again we will start the application python ide ide is known as the integ uh, integrated development environment where uh, uh, where were, where we will write the python program this will help a student to write python program interaction with the python program the first python program how we write and what is the meaning of each and every line what are the variables how, how the values are assigned in variables all these will be covered here elements of python the basic building blocks which is needed for any programming language that will be covered like in uh, basic elements what is variable what are the keywords what are the identifiers what are the uh, comments how the comments will be written how the program will be written in indent indentation so that will be covered in elements of python type conversion now type conversion is needed because uh, uh, if we are uh, in python we are operating in data type and why, uh, when we write any program we don't define the data type so uh, if we have to perform any calculation any operation then definitely we needed type conversion there so how to convert one data type into another one that will be that will be covered in type conversion so type conversion is also a, a two types implicit conversion explicit conversion that we will uh, cover when we will uh, teach the unit one then what are the expressions assignments assignments means how the values is assigned to a variable uh, how the expressions uh, are written in python programming arithmetic operators operator pre precedence and boolean expression in uh, every uh, language there are some operators kind of operators so here we first we will focus on arithmetic operators arithmetic deal with the all uh, arithmetic operation like multiplication subtraction division modulus so uh, these operations will be covered in arithmetic operator then uh, some other operators also we will discuss in python precedence means the order in which the operators will be performed 
the calculation so that will be covered in a, a operator precedence boolean expressions in the unit 2 we will focus on the conditional statement and loop conditional statements are if else if else statement we will use to provide any condition in any program and loops are used to repeat some uh, code again and again where we required a repeated code again and again then we use the loop so in python we will uh, learn what is the purpose and working of the loop how the loops are written what is the flow diagram and uh, how uh, the uh, condition will be applied inside condition inside the condition that is nested if statement and else statement and here nested loops that will tell how a loop inside loop will be covered and how condition inside condition will be covered then coming to the unit 3 in unit 3 we will talk about the function how the functions are created which keyword is used to define a function parts of the function parameters passed in a function how the function will be executed how to call a function keywords and default arguments scope rules means the variable we defined inside a function what is the scope of that variable inside the function and outside the function that will be uh, covered in this topic then coming to the string a string is a data type of a uh, python so in a string we will uh, we will look at length of a string performing some uh, string operation that is concatenation repetition in indexing and slicing of a string concatenation means appending two strings together repetition means printing a string many times as we require as per the requirement means repeating the string as per the requirement slicing of a string slicing is the part of something so in slicing uh, we will uh, we will work with the part of the string indexing is order of the string how to access any letter any character in a string how to uh, perform slicing if we don't know about the indexing we will not be able to perform the slicing of the string next python data structure by in python data structure we will talk about the tuple unpacking sequences list mutable sequences list comprehension sets and dictionary all these are the data different different data types now uh, here uh, like tuple it is a immutable type of data type unpacking sequences means like uh, if any uh, data type is of ordered collection and there are indexing so how to retrieve the data from their list similar to array as we uh, deal with the array in c and java here is a list list is a mutable type of data types mutable means changes can be done we can add elements we can remove elements and immutable means if we define the structure initially we cannot uh, make any changes we cannot delete any element we cannot add elements higher order function the prior, uh, the function which we uh, give the priority on first first class object as a first class object so how to treat them what is the lambda expression all these will be covered in unit 3 next coming to the uh, some applications and some uh, algorithm that is first one sieve of erato systems this algorithm is dealing with the prime numbers how to print the prime numbers in a given range there are uh, many other methods also but this is a, uh, this is one of the algorithm to find out the prime numbers file input output file handling will be learned in this unit how to create a file how to write a file how to read a file different different file operations and uh, error handling related to the file that is exception and assertion modules now in previous unit we have discussed that how to create a function how to define a function now if we have uh, many functions and uh, their uses are similar they belongs to a similar class then we have to gather them and that uh, function if we gather in a one uh, uh, one uh, file that becomes a module so how to use the module how to create them how to import them 
abstract data type defining abstract data type using a basic data uh, structure in a python language uh, adt uh, interface means abstract data type interface for defining a class classes now classes classes are used there where we want to uh, reuse the code we don't need uh, we don't want to write the code again and again there uh, there we use the concept of the classes so how to define a classes and the operations belong to the classes some special method such as uh, init str comparison method arithmetic and some uh, class examples that means uh, the properties that program python programming inherit or inheritance and oops that is discussed in fourth unit and this is the last unit here we will uh, we will study about the iteration and recursion searching searching binary search estimating search time what is the time complexity that will be discussed here shorting selection sort merge sort if we have two list then uh, uh, if we have two list how to merge them together and how to sort them in uh, in a given order either it can be in ascending order or it can be in descending order that will be discussed in unit 5 so basically what is python python is a high level object oriented interactive scripting language now high level language that is more understood by in by any human interactive and interpreted python is a interpreted language because it reads command line by line and gives the output we don't need to compile the whole program and then run we just write a, a write a, a write a command in python shell and we can see the output immediately so that's why it is interactive also general purpose type of applications can be designed using python programming that's why it is general purpose and it is one of the most popular language that has been used in today's or uh, today's business world uh, technical world in every organization is adopting the python language because it is very easy to program any application in python now python programming language is very well suited for the beginners because uh, it is easy to learn very less code is needed to write any program it is designed by the guido van rossum and first the first it will it is appeared in 20th fab 1991 now these are some features of python it is very simple no say no uh, very large say uh, no so many syntaxes are there very less syntax is there as compared to the other languages like c and java we uh, need to define the uh, line ending with the semicolon we have to uh, give curly braces to start uh, any function and uh, uh, the code that in that ends should be covered within a bracket easy to learn less syntax so it is also very easy to learn free and open source free and open source means you, uh, you don't need to purchase the python uh, it is available online free of cost and uh, open source means you can uh, you can edit the python uh, according to your own use high level language machine level language are understood by the machine but high level language are better to write the code because it is easy uh, to recognize it it is easy to write by any developer now uh, python is a high level programming language i already have to explain you what is high level language now which focuses making the code easier for the program high level language because it is easy to code yes uh, interpreted in any other language the first code is the written then it is been compiled and converted into the byte code then it is ready to run but in python the code is written and it will be ready to execute here is the flow of interpreted language flow diagram and this is the compiled language flow diagram 
ob it is object oriented now features of object oriented we will discuss after the features of python object oriented means where we uh, use the concept of the classes means a code that is been uh, reused is already been saved and we create an instance of that class and we use and define some behavior of that class using the object gui programming support it supports the interfacing user interface programming large standard library all type of library is available in python so uh, that's why the uh, com large community support is uh, there for python because every organization is adopting the python just because of every uh, kind of uh, library is available there and it is easy allocating memory dynamically here uh, when we define any variable we don't need to uh, tell the data type so when we assign a value it uh, dynamically allocates the memory location according to the value uh, it will recognize that it is a number or a string or a list accordingly it will allocate the memory now another feature of python is that it uh, when the uh, when the variable is in no use it deallocates the memory so memory allocation deallocation memory management is done in the python now object oriented is the combination of the two words that is object and oriented object means creating an instance of the class and oriented we focus on that uh, that that object is that we have been created and using that we can uh, customize the behavior of that class and uh, deal uh, dealing with uh, dealing further in the code relies in the concept of classes and object the object that is uh, being created uh, must belong to a class now structure uh, it is used to structure a software program into simple you reusable piece of code the concept of class is that that you you don't want to write the code and again and again so you will write a code save in a file and make it a class later on you will create the instance of that class example object oriented type of programming languages are there java c++ python now here is a diagram that will uh, clearly demonstrate the concept of class now dog is a class and here we have defined some parameters and behavior parameters are fields that is breed size color and age of a dog now behavior belongs uh, behavior are the methods 